Any visitor to Upper Weardale today could be forgiven for thinking these remote valleys have always been quiet, deserted and tranquil. However, as little as 150 years ago, they were a hive of activity, for people came here in pursuit of wealth, and that wealth came in the form of lead. And the valleys were full of it. Hundreds of mines were dug, of which the park level mine here at Killip is just one. But though wealth never came for most families that worked here, thriving communities were built based on common purpose, camaraderie and care. Most miners had to walk several miles before they could start work in the mines, where they toiled all day. Only paid for the lead ore, known as galena, they brought to the surface. In winter, miners would often not see the sun, except on Sundays. Based on knowledge from other mines and from exposed seams on the surface, miners could predict where to tunnel to meet rich veins underground. But it was a game of chance. There was no way of knowing whether they would reach a vein, or indeed if that vein was rich in ore. Tunnels, known as adits, were dug big enough so that horse-drawn tubs could be used to retrieve ore from as far as several miles into the hill. It was hard graft, but miners were a team. That's Jack leading the pony. And there's his brother Charlie, clearing out some rubble to make space to dig a shaft below. They've dug out most of this vein, and beyond here, the digging's getting very poor. So miners, I'll have to look somewhere else. Joe and George are working out up top some of the last easy pickings. Duncan, he's got the tough job cleaning out a coffin level through solid rock to try to reach another vein. Got a tub load. Great. <laughs> They'll get paid today. Look here. Old miners left a mark. It might be a dirty job. But miners took pride in keeping a clean main. Health and safety might have been poor by modern standards, but it wasn't ignored. This huge water wheel was built to pump out water to reduce the risk of flooding. Sometimes they were used to pump in fresh air.
Come down the main and see for yourself. A glimpse into the Industrial Revolution that built this country.